So Bill, you've got a little red envelope next to you. It'd be great if you could great if you could take that out and take a look at the contents. Yeah. <laughs> friends from school um, when I was at Doncaster Road School so I would have been nine ten I would go down for, to watch the uh, Saturday matinees with two or three friends we'd go into the foyer you could buy sweets in the foyer and that and they actually had a popcorn uh, machine as well so you could get popcorn as well and drinks used to, be, used to get the little sort of plastic containers of drink that you used to put the straw in the top so I used to get one of those and I mean, mainly boiled sweets as well actually, funny enough, I, I seem to recall for some reason I was just buying them. Uh, so we'd sit there in the cinema drinking that pop and then you could make a really horrible noise by actually moving the uh, straw up and down in the plastic. So if the film wasn't very good you used to annoy people by doing that. I have a memory as a child going with my parents to a cinema in Conisborough which was called the Globe Palace uh, and there used to be um, old lantern evenings uh, so you'd go in what was the old cinema but they'd be projecting um, black and white images uh, sometimes they'd be moving images um, often they were like almost like a slideshow uh, but they were black and white footage of um, areas around Mexborough, Denneby, Conisborough uh, landscapes uh, or characters. Um, a chap who I still have in memory from being a child was um, an old guy and he used to be in a horse and cart and the, and the cart was small, it was for one person, uh, with a donkey and apparently he used to go around Denneby and I think he used to go from pub to pub in uh, his horse and cart with his donkey. I've never actually took a girlfriend to the cinema, I was thinking about that. Uh, I mean, I did have plenty of girlfriends at the time, but just, just never took them there for some reason. Uh, in 1970, when I was growing up, I suppose, uh, the, uh, the railway children, and that was filmed at the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway, yeah, and that, that was, I suppose, one of my favourite films, because it was about railways. Back in the 90s, so uh, you'd have Brastoff, Full Monty, Little Voice, uh, and they were all of a film which kind of connected with me with the nostalgia element of it. Uh, and I've found moving into film, uh, becoming a production designer myself, I'm drawn to scripts which are also nostalgic. Favourite film growing up? It's probably Robin Hood, starring Errol Flynn. Uh, it's such a great film, I mean it's full of action and everything and uh, I just loved bow and arrows when I was a kid anyway so uh, I mean it's such a great sort of hero, Robin Hood anyway, particularly from around this area. One of my favourite films is Hugo, I don't know if you've seen Hugo but I, I just think it's just, it's the perfect blend of nostalgia and joy um, that seems to be the sort of film that I'm attracted to. I, I really loved um, Stan and Ollie. Uh, the most recent, I thought that was a fantastic film. Uh, Steve Coburn was absolutely fantastic in that. Yeah. I just watched one that's set in Swinton, uh, where I used to work. I used to actually work at Swinton Comprehensive School, and it's called Everybody's Talking About Jamie, uh, which is a brilliant little film, you know, absolutely fantastic film. And I watched that with my wife, Vicky, the other day, and I kept saying, that, oh yeah, I used to work in that classroom. That, you know, that's that's view I used to have when I was in the prep room, you know, and, and probably annoyed her quite a bit. But the other weird thing is, is that I've, other than living in Mexborough, the only other place I've ever lived is Parson Cross in Sheffield. And that just happened to be another part of the film as well. And I just thought, like, how strange this is, you know, watching a film and it's sort of two of the major places of my life, in a sense, and it's, it's got those places in it. But yeah, there's, there's so many brilliant, brilliant films out there. And there's, there's, I mean, they're still being made, so, you know, it's hard to pin them down, really. Life's a coat of many colours 
It is never black and white Can't have one without the other The dark without the light In the summer we were lovers With the flame our hearts would burn a flame the autumn would smother and leave this heart to 